strong tower, Jesus. My strength this hour, Jesus. You're my deliverer, yes, you are. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Well, I'm still, this is my second YouTube video, and I am still so very much excited. I'm very excited that to be able to share God's word with you, um, to be able to fulfill what it is that he wants me to do, it's just a blessing, and it feels so fulfilling to be able to do this for him. Let me tell you a little bit about myself, uh, a little bit more than what I told you from the first video. I am married and we have two um, boys who keep us very, very busy. They are extremely busy kids and um, we are constantly running behind them. So I find any little time I can to try and meet my word which is normally first thing in the morning about 4 a.m and um, meditate and pray with God and that's when he gives me these words that I am giving to you so um, again I'm thrilled and I'm so very thankful and grateful that you are able to join my channel and view this video well we're gonna get started let's open up first with a prayer Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much for sending your darling son, Jesus, who we love, who we adore, Father. We thank you so much, Jesus, for seeing fit to get up on that cross to die for our sins. And we are just so very grateful and so very thankful for it. Father, we thank you for this day, a day that we have never seen before and one that we will never see again. We thank you for, um, I thank you for allowing me to fulfill um, this purpose with this channel, Father. So I ask that if there is anyone that do not know who your darling son Jesus is, I ask that you give them the words, Father, through me. Allow them to hear me if it's just reading a scripture or if it's the way that I say Jesus. Allow your spirit to reach through this video to them, Father, and let them know that you really are who you say you are, the great I am, and that Jesus really is who he says he is our Lord and our Savior. Father, we thank you and I ask that anyone that's viewing this video, that you bless them abundantly, Father. I pray that you touch them through me, that you use me as a vessel, Father, and that you give them the ears to hear and the eyes to see, as well as the heart that is wide open to receive your word, Father. Father, we love you and we pray a blessing over this channel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start from chapter 3. And um, let me tell you this. The inter interesting thing about um, this, the passages of this today is that um, I titled it uh, Jesus versus Satan heavyweights step into the ring never underestimate Satan because he is running loose all around this earth right now and um, if you look at what's going on in the world right now you know he most definitely is a heavyweight but nothing compared to our Lord and Savior Jesus of course but don't underestimate him now we're going to start, of course, like I said, from chapter 3. I have my Bible right here. We're going to read chapters, I mean, verses 16 and 17. And then we're going to go right into um, chapter 4. It says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. And lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Woo! Two things I see here. First of all, God wanted to recognize his son by saying, This is the son of God. 
not just that, but it's very important to note that God's spirit descended upon Jesus. Now, remember, he's getting ready to go into his wilderness. He's getting ready to fast for 40 days and 40 nights. But before he started his fast, God's spirit descended upon him. Hmm. So we're going to get ready to go into chapter 4. But before we do, you know, I know plenty of you guys have probably seen boxing matches. And, of course, we all know what is a match if there is no real intro, we must introduce the opponents. So today, I want to most definitely introduce both opponents before we get this rumble started. Weighing in with several rebellious angels that fell right along with him. He is better known as Lucifer, fallen angel, chief of demons, the father of contention, prince of this world, father of lies, and the author of death and destruction. That's Satan. Now, on the other hand, on the other side of the ring, we have weighing in with at least 12 legions of angels standing by just waiting on the call. Oh, how do I know? Let's check this out right quick. Put a pin right there. We'll be back. Let's check out uh, Matthew 26, verses 50, verse 53. It says, Thinkest this is Jesus. He says, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father? And he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? You think I can't do that? He said, Oh, <laughs> Jesus would shut this thing down. But that wasn't his purpose. Remember, from what I talked about in my first video, he has to go up on that cross. He got to give his life to save us from our sins. So if he wanted to, he had his angels on standby. But that wasn't the purpose. Keep that in mind. It wasn't the purpose. So let's flip back. We're back at chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4. We're going to, um, let me go ahead and continue. I almost forgot. I, I, I'm, I'm still on it. I almost forgot. Um, I'm introducing Jesus. I've already given Satan his proper introduction. So now I need to give Jesus his. Back to Jesus. And on the other side of the ring, you have Jesus weighing in with at least, like I said, 12 legions of angels standing by just waiting on the call. He is better known as the Son of God, Almighty God, Lord of Lords, Lord and Savior, Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, King of King, Deliverer, Waymaker, Peacekeeper, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. That's Jesus. Now, the, sa the stage is set. You got two heavyweights stepping into that ring. So, let's start off with round one and find out what happened. It says, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Hmm. Okay, that was Satan's first blow. That was his first punch. Let's see what Jesus does. It says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So, Jesus, did he just not block that punch? <laughs> I think he just blocked that punch. I think round one goes to Jesus. Now, it's amazing how at Jesus' weakest point, Satan still couldn't do nothing with him. At his weakest point, he fasted for 
40 days and 40 nights. And he's going up against Satan. And you know, it's amazing, but Satan actually thought at that point that, hey, Jesus in my territory now, because Jesus is on earth at this point. He's in the flesh. You know our flesh is weak. So Satan like, okay, I can, I think I can get him now. Let me step into this ring. But <laughs> I don't think he knew. Yeah, yeah, I, I really think he knew Jesus was going to come like he did. He just, I don't know if he was just hoping or, or what he was thinking about. But round two. It's time to rumble again. Here we go. <laughs> then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. So he tries to quote scripture like Jesus did in the first round. Hmm. Interesting, huh? So let's see what uh, Jesus comes back with. So Satan just threw another punch. So now let's see what Jesus does. Jesus said unto him, it is written again. Okay, since you want to try to quote that, it is written again. Thou shall not tempt the Lord thy God. Again. Thy shall not tempt the Lord thy God. Now, these two scriptures don't conflict. They don't go against each other. What Satan has done, which is what he does so often, is he knows how to twist things, to use them the way he wants to use them, to get us thinking a different way. And, um... Of course we wouldn't tempt uh, God like that. If we truly needed God, of course he would be there. But if you see an 18-wheeler coming, you're not going to just step in front of it and say, God, I'm getting ready to step in front of this truck. Let's see what you're going to do. No, no, we don't test God like that. That's not who he is. Remember, he's not our servant. We are his servants. So never test God that way, which is what Jesus basically was saying. Okay, so round two belongs to Jesus. Now we're at round three. Satan is down. I've given round one to Jesus. I've given round two to Jesus. Now we're in round three. Satan's back is up against the ropes. He's going down for, a, for the count. And he got to figure something out. Let's see what happens in round three. <laughs> Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, all these things will I give thee. Mm -hmm. If thou wilt fall down and worship me. Come on now, say, that's all you got. Let's see what Jesus says. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, saying, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now, God tells us to resist, and if we resist, he shall flee. And what did, Je what did Jesus do? just do. He resisted. He is an example of what we are supposed to do. Like I said earlier, even at his weakest, Satan still couldn't do anything with Jesus. And he was at his weakest. Jesus used the Spirit of God that descended upon him to help him make it through. Well, like I did in the first video, I want to actually bring these scriptures to life so take a look at this
After his baptism, Jesus enters the wilderness. For 40 days, his spirit is tested, preparing him for the challenges to come. Son of God. Command that this stone becomes bread. Man shall not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. you throw yourself down his angels will lift you up in their hands how dare you put God to the test if you will bow down and worship me I will give you the whole world Crucify him! Get away from me, Satan. Okay, of course, that was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it Jesus by way of knockout. Satan can do anything <laughs> with Jesus. And, um, you know, Jesus, of course, met Satan face to face in the ring. And sometimes I wonder, why do we keep getting in the ring with Satan? Why do we keep getting knocked down over and over and over again? And it's normally over about the same thing. Why do we keep getting back in the ring? We need to stay in our word, know what God is saying, and we need to pray constantly each and every day, and we need to meditate. Don't forget to meditate and worship God with God. If it's only for five minutes, I'm, I've, I'm up to an hour, of course, but that's because I've been 
um, spending time, quality time with God for a very long time. But um, if when I first started off, I only started off with five minutes and I worked my way up to an hour. It seemed like the more difficult trials I had to go through, the more I increased that time with him. So if you give him five minutes, let him know I'm giving you five minutes today. I, I, every day I can at least out of 24 hours, God, I can at least give you five minutes. If you give him five minutes and be honest and do what you're going to do with him in that five minutes, I guarantee you, he will start increasing it for you. He will help you to increase that time. He will help you to find a time to spend with him and your life will be so much better than what it is now. If you spend that time with him, things that go on at work won't bother you the way that it would if you're not spending time with Jesus. Um, things that go on maybe with a spouse or um, um, with anyone, with family members. He will help you to deal with whatever it is that you need to deal with. I found that whenever I spend my quality time with him the way I should, I'm able to resist Satan um, easier. It's much easier for me. It's more difficult when I don't spend my time with him and I get off track and I'm watching all kinds of mess on the television, which I'm doing so much better. So, you know, just keep praying for me now because I haven't let go of everything I need to because that TV is a hot mess. But I am much better now and I'm on the right track. And that's all he asks. No one's perfect, but he's asking that you at least try. Repent and turn away from your sins and ask him to help you. He will be there for you. He won't let you down. That man, his name is Jesus. Jesus. Woo, the sweetest name that I know. For we thank you, Father. We thank you for sending your only begotten Son, that whomever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Until next time, be blessed.